Hey, what's going on everyone? Simpsons Man here, and today we're going to be opening up these shelf talkers from Jack Specific. So stick around and let's open them up. So in today's video, we're going to be opening up this Bart Simpson and this Homer Simpson shelf talkers from the company Jack Specific. I picked these up at the website IamRetro.com and if you order anything Simpsons on that website and if you want to save an extra 10% off of any other Simpsons items, use my code DAVE10 for an extra 10% off your order. They carry these and a bunch of other Simpsons items. I just ordered these a few days ago, just got them in the mail today, and I had to do an opening video because I've been really, really wanting to get my hands on these. So let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. So we're going to start off with Bart first. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off. So let's go ahead and grab this plastic, take this off. This is exactly how they come packaged in the stores. I haven't seen these anywhere yet. Um, I did hear they are only going to be like an Amazon exclusive and a couple different retail stores online, like I Am Retro and stores like that. So like I said, if you want to go ahead and pick these up, and if you can't find them anywhere, just go to their website pick them up from there. And my first impressions on these is these are actually a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. For some reason, I thought these were gonna be a lot larger, like probably about this much larger, but you know what? Let's go ahead, let me get off camera real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of compare this to the, you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, they are pretty much identical in size. So this right here is the plush that you can pick up for, I think they're around like $12 or so. I did pick this up off of Target, but these shelf talkers run around $25 and there is a pull string on the back of them and each one, Homer and Bart, has 20 different unique phrases. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna go through all 20 of the phrases. I'm not gonna break this up into two different videos. It's gonna be a Bart Simpson and Homer Simpson shelf talker video all in one. So make sure you stick around to hear all the phrases. So let's go ahead and get rid of this Bart. We'll put him back on the shelf. And I'm not sure uh, I'm trying to think, do I want to take them out? The only reason why is because a lot of these, when they come with a pull string, as you can see right there, you know, there's only like a store mode or like a try me mode. So a lot of times, especially like even with the Krusty doll, people were DMing me saying, hey, did your Krusty doll only have three or four different phrases? Because that's all that mine had. But yes, if you have them in the store mode, like if you were to go see them in the store at like Target or something on the shelf, they only have three or four phrases until you can engage it into the on position. So I'm not sure if this actually has a store mode or not. Um, I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and pull him and see what he says. So this is Bart Simpson shelf talkers from the company Jack's Pacific. You're hearing it first here. Let's go ahead and hear what Bart Simpson has to say. The point of the dinosaurs is, no matter what we do, an asteroid's gonna wipe us out. So we should party hard and wreck the place. All right, so that first one was pretty long, and I'm kind of curious, because I, I honestly thought it was going to be like, cowabunga, eat my shorts, but that first one was like a full complete sentence. So we're just going to kind of move on through. Let's start pulling them and see exactly what we get. Number two. There's only one thing to do at a moment like this. Strut. Number three. If you don't watch the violence, you'll never get desensitized to it. Four. Cowabunga. See? There's the cowabunga. I thought they were all going to be like that, but, well, we got one of the phrases. Eat my shorts. And, of course, we got eat my shorts. Classic Bart. Don't have a cow, man. Okay, more classic Bart. So those three back-to-back -back were, like, pretty much all of his classic phrases. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to have one that says, like, meh or yoink or anything like that, but we'll keep going. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? All right, so I completely forgot that one. That one's probably more iconic than the other one, so I'm so glad they're putting all of these crazy phrases on there. Looking is for chumps. Okay, we're just going to keep throwing, going through them. I can't promise I'll try, but I'll try to try. Okay. I didn't think it was physically possible, but this both sucks and blows. <laughs> Whoa, that's good squishy. Oh, that's a good one. I'm not just a one-line wonder. Okay. Wait, I, did we, did they, did we do I Caramba already? Because if so, they're re recycling them. Let's just keep going. I made my bed, and now I've got a weasel out of it. Okay, next one. I only lied because it was the easiest way to get what I wanted. All right. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. You can't prove anything. I do what I want, when I want. 
We're just gonna keep going through them. It says there's 20 different phrases. Okay, that's another good one. I bet it. What you dweebin'? The point of the dinosaurs is, no matter what we do, an asteroid's gonna wipe us out. Okay, so... We party hard and wreck the place. So that was the first one. So I'm not sure if we went through 20 of them. I was counting there for a second, but I feel like that was definitely not 20. Let's just keep pulling it a few more times just to make sure. There's only one thing to do at a moment like this. Strut. Yeah, so it's going through the beginning again, it sounds like. Yeah, so it's definitely going through all of them. I'm assuming that was 20. Uh, I'm going to kind of take a look just to make sure because it does say try me on there. Uh, a couple different, it has it in like 10 different languages it looks like. Uh, the phrases are in English. It does say that specifically. Let's kind of look at the box. You know, I didn't really kind of show off the box here. We do have the uh, Bart Simpson obviously right there. It does show on there, has 20 different quotes. Uh, it does have the Bart Simpson head on there where you can see the word shelf talkers right there. And then on the side right there, it does say that, you know, it does have 20 quotes included. Here is the back artwork, the shelf talkers logo with the Simpsons. It does say Bart on there. And there is the pull string. You know what? I said I was not going to take this out, but I'm just kind of curious to see if there is a store mode. Plus, I just want to kind of do a comparison to like the plush toy and the actual Bart Simpson shelf talker. So here's the plush toy. I'm going to just put him down right there. Let's go ahead and there's only a few little zip ties on there. So let me be careful here. Cut um, some of these off. There's looks like there's some on his legs and it looks like there's some on his hands and maybe yep and then another one on his waist so oh there we go he's so yeah so they're called shelf talkers because as, as you can see you know someone had actually mentioned this uh, when i posted a picture of it um his legs are nothing his hands are nothing because they are shelf talkers they are meant to sit on a shelf so if you pretend that this box is a shelf you know, he is meant to sit like that. And now that I'm noticing, there is a back area. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. It has all the speakers. You can see everything on here. I don't, I don't know if you'll be able to see all of that. But yeah, you can see, look at that. You can see the speaker and everything. But I'm not seeing is any kind of a switch or anything. It's just a big, long tube. Just kind of, oh, there's a, nope, there's not. I'm just kind of feeling around just to kind of see if there is anything down there but no i guess there's not so there is no store mode on this um i'm not going to say that's been confirmed or not i'm pretty sure there's no store mode on here whatsoever just velcros back on there you got the different tags on there uh, let me see if it says anything on there nope and it does says lift open for instruction manual so here we go so let's go ahead and lift this open and we just opened oh and there is a huge instruction manual which is kind of confusing because what else do we need to know about it to be honest i mean this is this is absolutely insane how big this is so here we go oh okay so it does show you how to take out the speaker uh just in case you want to replace it with batteries it looks like it does have three batteries in there that have already been included uh just give me one second let me just kind of go through this and look and look and see uh there's nothing that i'm seeing on here uh, it, it just it looks insanely huge, but you got to think there's probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen different languages So for some reason if the toy stops working, please follow these steps. Well there, you know, they are working um, Let's see here to avoid battery problems. We don't have any battery problems uh, it requires three AG13 batteries, 1.5 inch bat or 1.5 volt batteries, which we probably won't ever need to uh, swap out or anything. Uh, there's nothing. I don't see anything on here. It's just like there's just mainly like instructions about the batteries and like you know safety information about the batteries pretty much all the stuff that they would have to put on anything so from the looks of it there is no store mode on there so that's all the phrases that bart simpson has to say we'll pull them a few more times just just to make sure but from the sounds of it it looks like they just go through and they cycle through exactly from start to finish there wasn't any kind of like they didn't add like i caramba like five or six different times in between they just literally did the first one and then all the way to the last one. Let's go ahead and pull them maybe one or two more times just to make sure. 
Oh, I almost dropped him there. Here is Bart right here. We'll just get him pull him again. Uh oh. Did I did I break him? Okay, I know what I was doing. I wasn't letting go and I was just kind of putting it back in. So that was Calabunga. Eat my shorts. All right. Don't have a cow, man. We're, I don't think there's anything different, but we're going to keep going. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? And this sounds a billion times better outside of this box. I mean, I can hear it louder. I'm not sure if it's, you know, the same thing on the camera or not, but I can definitely hear it a lot louder just like this. Looking is for chumps. I can't promise I'll try. Okay. But I'll try to try. So I think they're just going to cycle through. Um, I don't know if I want to keep this maybe in the box or not. Uh, here is a comparison of the two. And man... The heads are almost identical. You can see right there, we got the double Bart right there. And man, I, I honestly thought they were going to use the same mold. But no, if you can kind of tell, there's one. This the shelf talker is just a little bit bigger than the other one. So let's put Bart away. We're going to go ahead and put Bart away uh, just in the box like that, I guess, for now. Uh, we'll put the Bart over here and we're going to get the Homer plush because we're going to be doing Homer Simpson next. Get this plastic out of here and let's go ahead and do the Homer Simpson shelf talker. So we're going to open him up and let's just go ahead and take him out of the box. There's no point of keeping him in there. Um, we're going to take off the, I want to say three on this one also. Yeah, it has one uh, along his feet, along his torso, and along his neck. So those are the three right there. What do I do best? Ruin it for everybody. Okay. He sounds a little bit different. Like I'm kind of curious um, if the if the if the actual Simpsons voice actors did these, or did they just you know they have the rights to it, so they're able to pull it from the episodes, or maybe they had just someone else do it. I have no clue how they do these uh, whenever they actually do the recordings. But we're just gonna go through, and now we're gonna check out all the different voices of Homer Simpson. So let's go ahead and start it off. I believe that children are the future, unless we stop them now. We gotta have a dough in there soon. I don't have time for childish games. If I don't do my job, Adams go boom. Okay, next one. Trying is the first step towards failure. Is it me or does he sound a little off? Like, I don't know if, it, it definitely does not sound like him completely, but let's just keep listening to it. Oh, oh well, there you go. That's gonna be, that's my favorite one, of course. <laughs> and of course that one. That one's a really good one, too. Hello, operator. Give me the number for 911. Really good one. Oh, $20. I wanted a peanut. <laughs> Stupid sexy slander. Oh, man. I love the fact they added that one. You'll have to speak up. I'm wearing a towel. And that one, of course. English. What is that? I'm never going to England. Oh, man. I'm getting some ideas for some signs off of these. I hope I didn't bring my damage. Okay, next one. Uh, you know. Oh, good. Classic. If something's hard to do, then it's not worth doing. Well, there you go. Right out of Homer's mouth. Uh, TV respects me. It laughs with me, not at me. Can't talk. Eating. That's it. You people have stood in my way long enough. I'm going to clown college. <laughs> oh, my God, a hipster. March. Bring him a microbrew. Quick. Oh, they have the internet on computers now. I think that might have been the first one. Let me just keep going just in case. Time to do what I do best. Ruin it for everybody. Actually, I think that one might have been the first one. I believe that children are the future. Yep. Now we're, cy we stop them now. Now we're cycling through them. I don't have time for childish games. If I don't do my job, Adams go boom. Let's go. Uh, let's just keep going till we get to the don't one. Trying is the first step towards failure. There we go. All right, so we have all of Homer Simpson's phrases. I, maybe because I was going through them really quick, uh, maybe I'll do a counter, or maybe you all can count on the comments. I feel like that was not 20, but if it says it's 20 and there's 20 different programs in there, then yeah, it's going to be 20. But here you have it. Uh, let's just do a little comparison, just like we did the other one. This one's noticeably different. The heads are noticeably different on this one. Now you can see, look how... Look, here, let me get my head out of the way. There you go. You can see that Homer right here, the shelf talker, versus Homer the plush right there. How big of a difference these are. 
And about height-wise, yeah, look. I mean, you can see the difference between the feet and everything else. Yeah, they're definitely bigger. The Bart Simpson was definitely a lot closer. Uh, the Homer, though, is a lot bigger. But yeah, here you have it. So we have the Homer Simpson Shelf Talker. Comes from the company Jack Specific. Uh, let's go ahead and get both of these on the screen. We have Bart Simpson right here. We have Homer Simpson right here. We got both of them right here. Nope, I'm in the way, so there we go. Here we got both of them right there for you. And like I said, you can pick these up right now. The website is IamRetro.com. If you don't want to go there for some reason, you can just scour the internet and maybe find them somewhere else. If you use the code DAVE10, you'll save an extra 10% off any Simpsons items they have on their store. That's where I got these from. Um, I ordered them like three, maybe four days ago, and they just got here. So two to three days shipping on a lot of their items. They ship everywhere else, like, you know, Canada, Australia, Germany, of course, the United States. So do yourself a favor. If you want to pick these up, go ahead. They run about $25, give or take. That's not including shipping, but, you know, you'll be able to save an extra 10% off with my code. But here you have it. Here is the Shelf Talkers from Jax. We have the Bart Simpson. We have the Homer Simpson, the official unofficial review video coming from the Simpsons man. So thank you so much for checking out yet another one of my Simpsons videos. And as always, if you did like the video, hit me up with that thumbs up button because every single like helps on the video. And if you are watching and you are not a subscriber, I would definitely appreciate a subscribe. Every single subscription helps. It helps me get out to the YouTube algorithm. We're getting closer and closer every single day to 100,000 followers. Once we get to 100,000 followers, we're gonna do some crazy giveaway, just like we did at the 50K one. And until next time, thank you so much for checking out yet another one of my mail day opening videos. This was a Jax one. Make sure you tune in for the next one because we'll be reviewing even more products from Jax and any other company that puts out Simpsons toys. And until next time, thank you so much. See ya!